I would always say I was a, that I'm a painter trapped in a photographer's body. You go out and you, you capture a moment that's completely gone in time, but you make that moment unique by adding your own vision and your own interpretation. This was not planned. You know, this, is, uh, this came around naturally, and I think that's why it did work so well. The reason why I find photography so special is that it's completely universal. There's no language barriers, there's nothing separating the viewer from understanding what they're seeing. And I think that's quite special, the fact that I can take something here and show it to someone that is across the world completely different to me. They can look at it and still feel something. I find that that's, that's quite special. The biggest secret to a successful image is threefold. I'd say it's lighting first. Um, definitely concept because you could photograph anything and make it look nice but there's no value and then mystery one of the big things I think when it comes to to any form of art is to hold some kind of mystery and hold people captive I think it was probably one of your final classes we were busy doing pinhole photography um, and it was something I was just completely drawn to the, the fact that you can capture an image and it comes out soft and dreamy and it mm. feels like almost like a painting uh, I remember running up to my dad, showing him a picture, saying, what do you think of this? Mm. And he said to me, shoot me 12 more like that and we'll, we'll throw you an exhibition. At first I thought it was going to be a solo exhibition. So, and then I decided, no, 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 not a solo because you might get, you might not sell anything and you'll feel disheartened. And then uh, about a month to go to the exhibition, I decided, no, no, I was going to put my own work in just to make very sure <laughs> that we could pay the rent and, uh, and we could soften the blow for you. Yes. Well, it didn't turn out that way. She ended up outselling both of us. And I think ever since that day, um, you know, it's gone really, really well. Uh, a lot of people, when I tell them I work with my father, they're a bit taken aback. But to be honest, I tell them that I'm probably the most blessed person in the world. I mean, my old man, we have a very special relationship. He's taught me so much. I've learned so much from him and also drawn so much inspiration from him. His work is incredible and he's always just trying the most bizarre things. Yeah, our approach in, in photography um, is rather different uh, and I'm pleased about that, I think. Um, I would say um, in the world of exhibiting photographic art, um, I'm a lot looser. Um, I actually dislike photography as a, as I suppose as a medium that you can photograph reality and I, and I, and I love, uh, from my point of view, I love the fact that the photographic process is not perfect. So I sort of embrace that as well. And, uh, and that's a lot different to you. It's a lot different. I feel um, because I came into photography obviously a lot later than you, I started all very technical and I really wanted to sort my technical side out. Mm. I was very focused on rather getting it technically correct, where you were always encouraging me and pushing me uh, to experiment and be creative, mm. uh, which is something I've only recently started enjoying quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, but I find my dad and I, we work quite well together. It's never really been a problem. Uh, we don't shoot over each other's shoulders whatsoever. We'd rather split and go separate directions completely. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I find that we we rather work as a team than compete. So mm -hmm. if there's a shot, if we see a subject that we both are drawn to, we have a spotted claim of yours. So if you spot it, you claim it, but then you have to take it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think it's we have a nice relationship where we rather encourage each other and build each other up mm -hmm. than compete, mm -hmm. which is very special. And uh, I think you draw inspiration, but you don't mm. necessarily copy. So we had to set these ground rules down really early uh, when, we, when we actually started working together. And uh, although it's, it's come close to tears at times, um, mm. you pretty much we've stuck to it and, yeah. uh, and, it, and it works. My style, it's taken a while for me to form my style. It's taken a lot of mistakes. Um, I've started gravitating towards more things. Now I'm very much attracted to simplicity, uh, minimalism. I absolutely adore it. It is not easy to achieve in photography, I must say. But I just love the stillness and the, the calmness that comes with the simple composition. For many years I've been building a style or trying to work on a style, but 
So a style is the way that I would photograph things, uh, that is uniquely the way that I do things. So I think that when we talk about mystery in a picture, that is really, that's what I'm fighting against. I think that's what all artists fight against, is trying to keep things simple. I think that's where, the, where photography really comes in on its own when it comes to art, is because it offers you that science, maths and chemistry. So you have that on the one side and then you have artistic interpretation on the other. And it is a marriage made in heaven. So I think that's the exciting part when you talk about art photography. It's how do you take that technology and how do you now create beautiful art with it? I could say as for now, what I'd like people to get out of my photos is just a breath of fresh air, just a, a moment of calmness in this crazy world that is so overly saturated with information. And so if someone can look at my prints and just be at rest for a moment, I feel like I've achieved my job. So the word photographer needs to be replaced with the word artist. So instead of being a photographic artist, I'd love to be remembered by as an artist who happened to use photography along the way.